Hello. In this video, we will be discussing and demonstrating the folding of the primitive heart tube. We begin around day 18 of development, when the cardiogenic region, which contains the angiogenic cells, develops into two separate lateral endocardial tubes. At day 21, the embryo begins a process called lateral folding. The separate tubes now fuse, creating one single heart tube. Five bulges or dilations begin forming on the heart tube. These bulges develop into the primitive ventricle, which will eventually be the left ventricle and inflow of the RV, the primitive atrium, which becomes the rough portions of the left and right atriums, the sinus venosus, which becomes the right and left horn, the bulbus cordis, which becomes the right ventricle, and the truncus arteriosus, which will be the aortic and pulmonary trunks and valves. By the end of week three, the heart tube is functional and can contract. At day 23, the tube begins to change shape, looping and folding. The bulbous cordis now moves more anterior, inferior, and to the right of the embryo. The primitive ventricle goes to the left side of the embryo. The sinus venosus moves superiorly and posteriorly, as does the primitive atrium. This leaves the sinus venosus more posterior to the primitive atrium. The twisting and turning of the tube is completed by day 28.